Hi everyone, my name is Charlie and today I have a review of The Nix by Nathan Hill. The Nix follows the character of Samuel Anderson Anderson and his mother Faye after Faye has thrown some gravel at a politician and it has been seen as a terrorist attack and they really want to charge her harshly for what she's done. Samuel is contacted by Faye's lawyers in the hopes that he will write a letter of good character about his mother. However, she abandoned him when he was 11 years old and he hasn't seen her in 20 years. He himself is a struggling writer and academic who is really only going to see his mother in the hope of getting some answers about why she left him. And it did begin with great promise. The things that I was reading were reminding me of Charles Dickens and especially the style, as I mentioned in a previous video, did remind me of Donna Tartt. And both of these writers are writers that I admire, so I thought that I was going to get a really spectacular novel with Nathan Hill. This is his debut novel and I thought that it was going to be a really spectacular debut novel that was worlds away from the novels that I am used to seeing from first-time writers. And indeed, the first 200 or so pages of this book were spectacular, and they were different, and we were getting to see Samuel's childhood. He has what can only, I think, be described as some, like, severe anxiety as a child, and you see him when he's older and you see all the struggles he has in his day-to-day -day life and how they almost mirror the struggles that he had as a child and how he's always been more of a passive character who, if you are more of an aggressive, dominant personality, you will be able to get him to do what you want and he will see no way of being able to fight back. And I thought it was great to see this character portrayed as the protagonist of a novel without it making him seem whiny and diminish him somewhat. However, eventually we do move back further to see the story of his mother. I can't help but feel that with all the threads within the novel, Hill forgot what he was writing about. He couldn't get an accurate hold over what he wanted to write about. I at first believed that this novel was going to be a political novel, especially I don't know whether it was because we were talking about the election a lot last year and that was in the media a lot and I thought that this was being would be popular because of that. But I did think that there'd be more about the politics but at the end of it, it just seemed to be, it felt very much like a blockbuster film. Like it hit all of the marks that you'd see in one of these really big films that everybody is going to like and critics would really enjoy but I can't help but feel like he'll, he'll have this metaphor of the Knicks and really wanted to make the story fit that metaphor. I think that all of the stuff with his mother from the 1960s was almost useless and didn't really work apart from showing us how as children we will always struggle to understand our parents and our parents motives and should they do something that later in life we disagree with then can we judge it because as a child that was the only way that we would have been able to live is if our parents had been doing these things that we are now against. I did like the small political aspects within the novel but towards the end you don't really get a resolution as to what's happened. It's very much you get one lie, you get one chapter almost just wrapping up all these threads and almost I wish left some of the threads untied and I wish it hadn't been so predictable that every problem there was immediately a get out clause and although you could see how the get out clause may cause the characters some problem in the future it was immediately there and immediately available which to me dispelled all the tension that there had been within the novel. There was this twist towards the end that discussed Faye's involvement in Samuel's life that I thought was pathetic and really ruined the rest of the novel for me because it did seem very much like a Hollywood twist, very much like this character had been this almost all-seeing eye over her son even though she hadn't been there for 20 years. and. I almost wished that it had just been different, that she just admitted that the character had 
struggled as a mother and it had just been something she'd never wanted and she ultimately gave it up and it had been more about this empowering thing rather than men having power over her and I understand that Hill is trying to talk about the political climate at the time and police brutality and all of these things that made characters antagonists. I suppose we could say that in doing this Hill was being Dickensian because he did bring it all back around to family and some unexpected, unbelievable things happened to set this novel off. But I wish that he I still wish that Hill hadn't tried to tie all of these things together and bring all his threads into one thing. You can have disparate threads and still have a novel and you can have these things just being parts of people's lives and they may not be important to the plot but they can be important to showing us who these characters are and their beliefs as they have grown and I feel that it is a brilliant debut novel and the, uh, you know the characters will stick with you, the events have stuck with me but I haven't been able to suspend my belief enough to believe the ending and I feel like with all these different things going into different timelines the character of Samuel still never got any answers and the reader didn't get any answers, they just got a load of stuff thrown at them in the hopes of creating a novel and I feel like a lot of stuff was lost. It might have been this thing that Hill did work on this novel for a long time and maybe he just reached the point where there were parts that he wished to keep and wished to discuss but in the overall scheme of things in the end they didn't need to be in this novel and could have been discussed elsewhere in different books later on because with trying to fit them all together, piece them all together and make them something that they weren't, it ultimately ruined my experience reading the novel. But, as I said, I feel like if it does end up getting made into a film, people are really going to enjoy the film and that I can see exactly what Hill was trying to achieve, but I don't think it was achieved here. Although Hill is an extraordinary writer and I really enjoyed reading his prose, it was engaging, it was fast paced even though it is a rather large book, there is still the fact that I think this was more to its disadvantage because it gave me more time to judge the events that were happening whereas I think if it had been a shorter book I would have been able to suspend my belief long enough to accept what had happened and accept the actions of certain characters within this book but as it stands it was too long and it didn't focus enough on what it should have focused on and cut out very significant things that I wish we had seen. But by all means, if you have any questions, do ask them in the comments section. And until next time, that is all.